What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, hope you're having a great weekend and welcome to this new video on liquidity. Um, wanted to do an update on that, was requested. Today I wanted to make a couple more videos, not sure why, but still. Um, thought it would be interesting, thought it would be valuable for you. So I also wanted to update liquidity again, do a full technical overview of it. Um, there's not much to say about the fundamentals. I mean, we will touch upon the fundamentals of the market. I think we have to do that. Right now, in order to fully understand uh, market movements, I mean, the market has been so correlated. Um, it's almost uh, not fun anymore. But um, still, uh, if, 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 you're, if, if you're a trader, you have to be adaptable, right? So in this video, we'll take a look at liquidity. If, uh, before we get into liquidity specifically, if you want to receive daily trading signals, check out the links down in the description. There you'll find the instructions on how to join my trading signal group. I've been very profitable so far. Um, uh, trade results are also in the Discord, so check that out. All right, now on to uh, liquidity. So what you can see right now, and the thumbnail will probably be something like big moment for liquidity, and I really truly believe that. I mean, it's somewhat of a, of, of a clickbait thumbnail. I'm fully aware of that. Um, but right now, what you can see is that for like the last week or so, and we also in a signal group, we also took a trade. Um, we took a trade from uh, from from here actually at around two dollars. So great trade. Um, so what you see is that we're basically finding support right here along the 200 EMA. But you can also see that this trend line has formed and is pretty valid. Um, so we have that bullish momentum. But apart from that, uh, what is the wicked thing is that we have also still held on to our bearish momentum and that bearish pressure, um, with especially 2.3 being very strong. So that is um, that is where we are in right now. And that's why it's a crucial moment, because I think we're going to get a breakout at this level right here something like this, this is a market structure, and I expect a breakout, all right? If I said bearish breakout, I meant just a breakout. And the thing is, is that right now, I'm, I'm not sure where it's going to go. What I expect, what I think the most likely scenario is, but that is also mostly due to uh, that liquidity seems to have lost quite a lot of bullish momentum. Um, we were obviously very bullish the 16th of March. I mean, that's also when Bitcoin became very bullish. Uh, but right now, in the last week of, uh, of bullish momentum for Bitcoin, liquidity has barely responded. So the correlation seems off. Apart from, I mean, if Bitcoin drops like the, the 27th, um, liquidity is falling down pretty hard. Right here, after the 27th, we dropped down pretty hard. Um, so I think altogether, there's a little bit more weight to the bearish side of things. And apart from that, I mean, it's it's also still very strong. I mean, we're below 2.5, 2.3, major resistance level. Uh, that 200 EMA is nice, but we have uh, we have more often touched the 200 EMA than we touched the main resistance at 2.3. So right now, I actually do think the most likely scenario is that we will continue in this um, in this market structure, and that at some point uh, we will drop down lower towards this level right here around 1.95 and 1.92. Um, I don't expect a huge crash or anything, except for if the market crashes, obviously. Uh, but that's not what I'm expecting. I just think that we will um, lose the bullish momentum that's often happening still right now in liquidity uh, and give that up for a bit more bearish movements and then consolidation. Because um, in the end, I mean, uh, the volume right now of liquidity, if you compare that to the last month, is really low and the EMAs are pretty flat as well. So you could also argue that we are getting into some sort of a consolidation, which I partially agree with. Uh, but I do think that before we can consolidate, we will drop down a bit lower than $2. Um, but I guess we'll see. This is my take on liquidity for today. If you do have any questions, then uh, of course, let me know. But for now, take care. Thank you for watching and bye.